re emissions obviously has a lot of penalties that come along with it. So we, we and every other hospital out there are faced with high re emission rates or some re emission rates that are going to affect your reimbursement in the future. Uh, Links to stay, you know, you only get reimbursed for a certain amount of money when it comes to uh, Medicare, which is probably about 60% of the patient load. So with that, once you get past the, their length of stay, you know, your cost versus what you're going to get reimbursed just kind of diminish and go away. Your reimbursement rough, roughly running around 29%, 27%, maybe whatever it is based on your charges. So uh, I think smaller community hospitals, uh, it's, it's really tough on us. Uh, Throughput, basically, what you're doing is you start off with the process in the beginning of trying to get the patient identified. 20%, 25% of your patients are self-pay patients, so you don't, you're not going to get anything for that right there. So you're losing the money right off the bat. You just try to uh, optimize as much as you can your throughput to make it efficient. Uh, some of the some of the challenges is moving from the ED setting into the inpatient setting. Uh, you have patients that will be showing up. 60% to 70% are going to go into the inpatient space. They're going to go through the ED. You, you have a very small amount to do direct events. So you have, to, you have to control that flow and make it smooth. You can take care of all the emergency care. You can take care of the emergency needs immediately. But the emergency department is not designed to hold people for long periods of time. They're very gifted at, for the most part, taking care of emergency cases, getting people treated, passing them along. Well, that's when you start the problems. When you do the pass off, so the ED physician is done. Now the hospitalist or the physician has to come in and start their order sets and get them prepared and pass them on right on through the system. Uh, it's it's a challenge. That's that's where we are, and now you got to see where they were admitted in the last 30 days. Where they are they within their window? Uh, are we going to get reimbursed for it or not? With our ED system, we use MedHost as the EDIS system, uh, where pretty much all the technology right there is digital. It's in digital format. We've taken taken all the paper away, and, is, and it makes things more efficient. Allows the orders to go and it pay for itself very very quickly. And we we have a whole lot of missed charges. Uh, people just don't pull stickers off of them and put it down. This right here was doing the when you chart the charge went through, so it actually allowed for those efficiencies because you're, you're looking for the dollars that you're about to lose because we, we're getting cut on uh, varieties of places so you're trying to find as much as you can that you're not missing yourself uh, nurses are not designed to be uh, point of sales type people they're designed to save people's lives so for them to keep up with all the charges not not their forte so you need as much of the systems as you can to do it one of the one of the things that we did was we took care of the ED with that. Uh, there's there was another part right after that was the op center. Op center allowed us to look at where we were for the last 52 weeks on patients coming in, so you can staff appropriately, so you don't have to have 15 people there. You can have the right amount of people there based on your projections and where you're going to go. So that allows you. What is, what is your number one cost labor? It allows you to monitor your labor, see where you are, and see what's going on. Uh, from Op Center, there's uh, 60 to 70 percent of your patients actually go straight into inpatient status, or they will go into inpatient status if they need to. Uh, the transition is the ED is completed; they're done with it. The doctors and nurses are very gifted at short lengths of stay, passing it off. The hospitalist shows up. They take over and start writing orders to pass it on through the system. One of the things that we, we ran into and we're having problems is our bed, bed control, bed tracking, keeping up with where they're going to go. Our old system, pull out a piece of paper, call somebody, see what room's available, how we're going to transport them, get them up in there to the room. The day that we implemented HD, uh, we improved our throughput by 25 minutes, day one. The way we did that was we used a concept. They showed up and told us, let's use a concept called bed ahead. Every unit will select one, two, three. Bed number one, bed number two, bed number three on different units. By doing that, you got a visual effect in your face. You can see where the next patient's going 
we cut off 25 minutes. Now, when you're when you're going to be getting evaluated on core measures and stuff like that for ED throughput, cutting off 25 minutes is huge. Everybody's looking to improve their throughput because once you get them over into the different setting, the pass off, now you got room for the next ones that are coming up. Regional audit contractors is huge. Um, Readmissions is, is is a pain point. Uh, ICD-10 is a pain point. Uh, security is a pain point. Encryption, audits. Uh, I think if I said what's the biggest thing that affects the livelihood of community hospitals, small hospitals, I would say it would be racks. And the reason I would say that is I've had the opportunity to see what's what's going on when they come and audit records. These are things that are occurring from two or three years ago where you're getting denials and you're getting them. You get a million to two million dollars tied up. Now, when they deny it, they get the money back and then you have to commit all the resources to fight to get your money back. So, what is our profit margins on an annual basis? They're taking it away. So that's where that's that's the things that keep you keep you up at night. Uh, the the readmissions you have to you can you can keep up with and you can monitor and it's a challenge and it'll always be a challenge. But when a, when a company or a contractor gets paid for performance, they they get paid based on how much money they reclaim back. They're going to probably do very well, and I'm, I, I would be interested in seeing how well they're doing.